Hi, my name is Kathy, and um, I just turned 50. A lot of people are asking me what I do to keep my skin like this. Well, I, I've been taking care of my skin steadily since I was about 22 when I was working in a beauty salon in Barrow um, that specialized in the skincare product Dermalogica. And my boss actually took me down to Torrance, California, and I and I went and took classes at the Dermal Institute, and I learned all about um, all about skin and skincare. Um, I learned how to do facials. I learned what the different. Um, I learned that your skin is your largest organ, and it's full of all kinds of uh, full of a lot of blood vessels. So you have to. Um, you have to keep that in mind. What's what you put in your body is very important. What you put on your body is important. And I'm going to share a few things. Um, lately, in the past few years, I've been using this product called Thrive Cosmetics, and it's made. Uh, they they use only vegan ingredients, and so there's no no animal testing or animal products. Not that I'm against using animal products, but I'm, I'm glad that they don't do animal testing because I think that's cruel. Um, so, uh, to start out with, this is called Bright Balance. That's what I use to wash my face. And um, one of the things it does for someone whose skin is mature like mine, I'm 50. So we get what's called melasma and that's um it's a form it's a form of acne actually um rosa rosacea specifically and it's a dark darkening or discoloration of, of the skin fortunately i only have it on the apples of my cheeks um i i try to tone it down a little by using products like this um once i I've, I've done that um I use a toner. I use this and I and I put it on with a cotton pad. And I put that all over my face, even on my even on my eyes, not on my eye eyeballs, but on on the skin around my eyes. It's it's very gentle. And then I use a face serum and what I I actually use two of them right now. I I I may be going overboard, but that's just me. Um, I use one called liquid light therapy. Um, some people who live on the road system will go to a spa and they'll have this electric mask put over their face and it'll have um, these lights that are supposed to get rid of the melasma in your face and I think it, it probably works but this this is that this does that in a bottle and it also um, it's an all-in-one face serum so it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to do some some toning also and then I have another another serum that's a sculpting serum so it keeps you from getting all flabby in the face and then after that that I have a uh, it's I need I need bifocals I think it's a power 7 peptide firming moisturizer ceramide line smoothing complex that's what this one is and then after that I use an eye lifting cream and this is really good So that's my skincare. That's all I have on my face right now. That's all I use most of the time. But for the purpose of this video, I thought, you know, there's all these videos of, uh, there's all the makeup videos. Most of the women that are, that are doing them are in their 20s. I thought you might want to see one with someone who's 50. So... 
let's do that. I just, I just recently lost some weight. Um, I was, uh, I, I, well, I, I got COVID in, in July and I didn't lose my taste or anything, but I lost my appetite and I quit eating sugar then. And I, and I thought, oh, this is good because I'm going to be 50 and I need to lose weight just in case I need to call an ambulance. They need to be able to lift me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I use mostly, mostly, um, this Thrive Cosmetics. And, and the reason I got into using Thrive Cosmetics is because I was working at the Family Crisis Shelter and I, I happened to see an ad for it when I was when I was re doing some research on some things that had to do with uh, the shelter programs. And Thrive Cosmetics came about. It's it's kind of a twofold uh, thing. This lady wanted to come out with some natural cosmetics because her friend had cancer. And then when her friend got over the cancer, she was she was broke, and she was also a veteran. So. Um, she sold she started selling these cosmetics and and she gave her friend uh, a bunch of money because she was broke after having cancer and then she started thinking i could do this for other women who are who are in situations that they can't control so she started donating to women who have cancer who are in domestic violence situations and veterans women veterans so I thought that was neat and that's why I started buying it but but they're really good products so anyway I use mostly them but I, I do like this this is a, a foundation that I use it's called Ilea it's, it's really good it's for women with mature skin and it has retinol in it and let's see this is called blurring primer and it's just like, um, you know, when when you when you take your picture on Snapchat and you put put one of those filters on your face, it's just like having a filter on all the time. Blur out all those lines. And then there is this one. Okay, that might be another blurring primer. I have this other one. Oh, this this gives you kind of a shine. And then. This is the CC cream. I, I, I tend to call them all foundation because that's the age that I am. I started using foundation in the 80s. Let's just say that. This, this is the first makeup, the, actually the first thing that I bought from Thrive Cosmetics. It is really good mascara really good. I mean, it even has stuff in there that will keep your eyelashes healthy and help them grow longer. And it makes them look like you have fake eyelashes on. This is liquid um, eyeshadow. I, I have my eyebrows. I have I have real eyebrows, but they're also micro microbladed because at my age they start to get a little bit thin. So I did that this past summer. I, I need to have them touched up. I, I did have a bunch of these little things to fill them in before that. And so this is a good thing to have if, if your eyebrows are kind of thin. It's like a mascara for your eyebrows. And the eyeliner. Another liquid mascara. Oh, this is brown. Okay. Let's see, I think I have everything that I'm going to use. The only thing that I don't use that's oh, not Thrive is this lipstick. It's Maybelline. It's called Pink Wink. And I started using this color when I was 14 working at the Nilovic. And I haven't found another color like it. And it's my favorite. And I'm not going to stop. Sorry. I don't think it's vegan. So let me get started with this blurring primer. 
I just use my hands. I know a lot of people use little sponges. I don't do that. So I put this on my eyes first and try to get in here where I get Anna's jowls sometimes. Now that I lost weight, they're gone again. <laughs> The, the choice that I always I always agonize over is to use this one or this one. This one is a little easier. And I just use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I think a lot of times people make a show of doing little dabs here and there. I don't know, maybe there's something to that, but I don't think so. And after I get done doing this, a lot of times I'll think, oh, I could just go out just like that. <laughs> I think it would look funny if I went out just like that though. You need the rest of it. I brought some little wipes to wipe off my hands. I wish I could have just done this in the, in the in the bathroom, but there wasn't any way to set up my my phone in there. So, on the bed, with the pillow propped up on the phone, it is, or the phone propped up on a pillow. See how my brain works? I'm just kind of goofy. A lot of people don't know that. But if you know, you know. So, let's see. Now, now you see my favorite lipstick. It's kind of a metallic pink. They say, well, I don't know who they is, but I read that the average woman eats or ingests four to nine pounds of lipstick in their life. I've been wearing lipstick personally since I was a little kid because my Anna did. For those of you who don't know what Anna is, it's grandmother in any pet, but um my Anna wore lipstick all the time and so that's how I learned how to wear lipstick so I guess I'm probably on the upper end of that maybe about probably about 10 pounds for me probably more for Anna <laughs> okay now this is copper copper or maybe maybe it's maybe it's kind of gold it's supposed to make you look like you're kind of wide awake I've had I've had someone ask how to put this on and I've seen I've seen them do this. I used to when I was a teenager, we used to buy magazines instead of looking at the internet. And I used to look at all the tutorials on how to how to put on makeup, but, but they put on, put on makeup differently back then in the 80s. Just think the 80s was like if you were born in 1982, you're 40. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I was in fifth grade. This this is really easy to put on and and you don't really tug at your skin. I usually put a little bit down here too. 
And since my eyebrows are already microbladed, I don't really have to do anything to them. Let me put all these other things back. I remember my, I used to watch my aunt and her girlfriends put makeup on when I was little. That was in, in the late 70s and early 80s. But it was really different back then. They used to put on blue eyeshadow and red or pink lipstick and lots of eyeliner and lots of mascara. And my grandpa would call it war paint. And then when I was in high school, we wore a lot of purple. Purple eyeshadow. Real dark too. Real dark purple. Of course, our eyeliner was, well, we wore really black eyeliner and we had big hair. Long earrings. Shoulder pads. Some of us had little tiny waists. <laughs> High heels. The times right after high school were the best. I don't necessarily miss high school. I liked working during high school. My jobs were a lot of fun. I always had a lot of jobs. I had adult friends at work that were really nice. Well, my friends that that were that are still my friends, they were cool. I shouldn't say I only had adult friends because I had some really good friends that are still my friends. You know who you are if you're watching this. They're not necessarily makeup tutorial people. One thing I wanted to say was, um, you know, people always want to ask all about my skincare. I take a lot of vitamins. I only drink water. I don't eat sugar. I quit eating sugar. I eat lots of vegetables. I take B vitamins, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D3. And then there's this one that's really important. It's called Life Extension Phytoceramides. As soon as you start taking it, your skin will look better. Remember that. Well, this is me with my makeup on. I hope maybe you learned something. Maybe you were entertained. And I hope you have a really, really great day. Bye-bye.